everybody welcome to another Wednesday sit down video or today it's gonna be a stand up video um so I want to talk to you guys about something so I was just watching a YouTube video and somebody just bought um, or somebody gifted a new teacher a huge supply of Lysol Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes Clorox wipes I know they're two different brands which is awesome and stuff like that and this isn't me like knocking anyone down or anything like that but it just got me thinking of how I want to do things a little bit differently in my classroom um no this video by the way is not sponsored by anybody and if you're interested in things let me know I can guide you to the right person um and I guess another little disclaimer is yes I guess I technically do sell this product but I don't do it actively and I don't really want to do it actively I just signed up to sell so that I can get the mop I got sucked in that way it's true it happened so anyway the product I am planning on using to clean my classroom I will not have Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes in the classroom at all and I guess the best way to describe to say why I don't want any of those products in my classroom is because when my son was in first grade, um, they would pass out Clorox wipes at the end of every day. They would tear them in half and hand them to each of the kids. I would watch the kids wipe down their desks the days that I went in to help out at the end of the day. And then as the kids were throwing away their wipes, they were right up against their noses and they were just sniffing them. And they would wipe them all over their faces. And then just maybe they weren't being supervised as well as they should have been. Um, maybe students shouldn't be using them at all um, but also if you look on the back of those containers like there's very specific instructions on how to use them first they're not safe for kids to use second you have to keep the surface wet with the solution for an extended amount of time for it to actually do its job so instead of using those um, what I am planning on using is let me show you these and water that's it way safer for kids um, and just better in general in my opinion like I said I'm not bashing anyone or anything if you feel comfortable using what you're using go ahead and do it I also made the change in my home this is all I use to clean um, the only cleaner I have in my home are my laundry detergent my dishwasher detergent like dish soap and toilet bowl cleaner that, that's it I don't have Windex I don't have anything like that in my home. I don't have, that's all I have um, because I use these. And let me explain what they are. First of all, Norwex brand. So let's just get it out that this is Norwex. Um, this is their EnviroCloth, so it's a very um, thick microfiber cloth. It feels completely different than the other ones. Um, they do sell these in like smaller sizes. Back up a little bit. They sell these in smaller sizes so it's more it's easier to handle for kids. I may or may not get the kid size of these so that I can have like, you know, four or five of them in my classroom so I can have like a cleanup crew at the end of the day that would get them wet and I would teach them how to like wipe down the tables and stuff like that. Batteries and dice, we gotta go hopefully kind of faster. Um, because if you get these wet, what it does is it picks up the bacteria or the proteins and it traps it in the cloth and then there's micro silver like embedded in this which makes it so that it can't grow. If it can't grow, it dies, kind of a thing. So you can do it with just water, okay? So that's the microfiber cloth. This is the polishing cloth, and you wipe it down afterwards to kind of make it nice and shiny. Again, they have kid size ones of these. Um, this is where I use my, to clean my mirrors, my home. So I use this to get it wet, wipe down my mirrors, use this to polish it, and it works amazing. And then the last one is this mitt. So this is a dusting mitt, so you can rub it together, you get static on the electricity working, you put it on your hand and you wipe off surface, surfaces. Again, they have these in kid sizes. So I may end up getting a bunch of them, like I said, five. That would be 15 kids, you know, five with the Enviro cloths, five with the polishing cloths, five with the dusting mitts every day, cleaning the classroom. I found, honestly, as soon as I switched from using all the chemicals in my home and stuff like that, my family was a whole lot more healthy. Um, they were getting us sick, stuff like that. That's another plus for me. Um, and also, when I was doing my observations this past winter, the flu hit my classroom. Like, they were dropping like flies. 
So I brought in these supplies and I spent a morning cleaning everything in that room. And I left them in there and every morning I would clean in there. As soon as I started doing that, kids were starting to feel better. No one else dropped. Everyone was fine. So it wasn't being spread around in the classroom. It possibly could have been spread outside of the classroom, but nothing was being spread in the classroom. And I know these work. I've done the tests, you guys. So I know these work. Um, so like I said, I'm not bashing Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes or anything like that. If that's what you feel comfortable doing and you using that and you're um, supervising your kids, if you do, give them to your students to use in the classroom, that's fine. Go for it. Whatever floats your boat, I don't care. I don't judge people because it takes too much of my time. But this is what I'm planning on using. So if you're interested in using something like this in your classroom or even in your home, let me know. Like I said, I can guide you to somebody who actually actively sells this stuff. Um, and you can get more information from them. If you want to purchase from me, I can figure out a way. I don't even know how, because like I said, I, I signed up to get the free mop. I signed up to get the free mop. So, this is what I'm using. Um, we have dusting mitt, polishing cloth, and an enviro cloth. So, this is just a really quick, short Wednesday video to let you know. Um, how I'm planning on keeping my room clean and stuff like that other than a different um, option other than Clorox and Lysol wipes. So this is an option for people out there. So if you're, like I said, if you're interested, let me know. I can leave, actually I'll leave in the description some um, information to somebody who does sell this and is super awesome, good friend of mine. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to sit back down because I'm tired. I will talk to you guys in another one, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet, yet subscribed, please do so. I am gearing up to do student teaching in like a month, you guys, like a little more than a month. It's crazy, a month and 10 days, or 11 days. It's crazy. So, I will talk to you guys later, and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you're interested in subscribing to my channel, go ahead and click on the link down below. Or, if you're interested in watching one of my previous videos, there's also a link for that. Thank you guys again so much, and I hope to see you here again next time. Bye!